Hi. I have a watch here, which is by Tiffany and Company, and it is um, a portfolio watch. It's a vintage um, piece, and I thought of um, making a video before I um, give it away. So this watch has already been spoken for, and um, if you have um, seen my watch collection video for... Um, women that is my uh, mostly watch or most viewed um video i i have made a lot of videos however that has garnered the most um viewers so i guess uh, a lot of people are also into um watches and um I think it was at the end of my video and then I suddenly got cut off and never had time to edit or uh, redo it. That is why I am making um, a video uh, just dedicated to um, this uh, watch. So um, this is um, a um, Tiffany and Company portfolio watch. And um, how I got this is um, a very, very interesting um, story. So I went to this estate shop in um, Sarasota, but it was a store with um, just a full of crap and they were, um, they were closing down on that day. I think they were about to move elsewhere. I don't know what the story was, but that was my very first time to go to an estate shop. Um, so it was basically a small store. It was not even um, air conditioned when I got there, but I was just very excited to see one. And um, they had loads of crap there and um, they had this uh, plastic bin full of um, old watches, as in dirty, dingy old watches and so um i got this over there and i was skeptical at first i was like really is that really a tiffany company watch and um anyway it had a very um tattered straps so um the straps have already been replaced of course and i didn't know if it was real or not but anyway um the seller said that Hmm, so you like Tiffany and Company, huh? Anyway, I'm giving you that for a dollar. So I was like, a dollar? <laughs> okay, what have I got to lose, right? So I was very, very excited. Okay, so I bought this for a dollar. And then I knew, I had a feeling, I had a hunch that, you know, who knows if uh, this is the real, you know, McCoy or not, right? But anyway, for a dollar, I really don't care. So... The first thing that I did was um, I brought this to the Tiffany store in um, Boca Raton. Guys, I don't, uh, I hope you don't mind me telling you the entire, you know, story <laughs> because um, I know that would uh, really, really inspire and motivate other people to go look into, you know, unexpected places. You know, you would see or find real treasures over there. And so I bought... I brought this to um, Tiffany in Boca, and I had to wait, of course. Uh, they had a very fancy, you know, waiting room for those who would like um, repairs or just do for those who have, um, you know, business with them or whatever. So I asked, the first um, question I asked was, is this a real thing? Because I'm not sure if it's real or not. And... Um, the woman there was like, honey, of course, this is the real thing. This is, this is a vintage piece. And this was probably, um, this is probably 20 or 25 years old. And um, this could be worth like five to $7,000. I said, but it's not the real, you know, it, it's a company or a corporate issued watch. And she said, if it's done by a company, by Tiffany and company, it doesn't matter if it's corporate or not. It's still the real deal. All right, so I, uh, I, I actually left this for them, and then they quoted me, and then they sent me an email after a week, and then they quoted me, you know, how much um, it would cost me for, you know, the overall refurbishment of, um, 
I wouldn't call refurbishment, but uh, the overall maintenance and repair. Okay, so I thought this this was um, not working. Could be that, you know, some of the things inside are not working anymore. I thought they were corroded or something. So they sent me an email. Um, if I would like to get the cheapest um, lizard or cheapest leather uh, strap that they have, it would cost me $300, something like that, plus tax. And then they told me that if I want the crystal or the glass replaced, that would be another, I think, $500. So it would um, cost me a total of $800, something like that, okay? So I thought, oh dear, this is a lost cost. So, I, you know, uh, I may have gotten the real deal, but then I think everything, the, everything is... Um, just falling apart inside so I said no so I took this to the jeweler I brought it to two jewelers at the mall and uh, I wanted to find out what's wrong with this watch and then they told me we just needed a battery are you sure and then he showed it to me he, he didn't even close the back and then he just put a new battery on and it was like working I said are you sure is there anything corroded inside he said no no there's absolutely nothing wrong inside so I was like Oh, so it just needed a battery and a new strap. Yeah, so I just bought the strap. I think um, I paid 50 bucks for the straps and um, the battery. Uh, I paid $15 for the battery, I believe. And so there. So I was like, then why were they quoting me $800 plus? So it's like buying a new watch. Of course, you went to Tiffany. So anyway, the strap that I had originally for this from Tiffany was a lizard looking. But anyway, I... I got it. I bought this. It's a genuine um, strap, leather strap, and um, yeah. So that's it. So that was a total rip off. Of course, Tiffany and Company. It's um, one of the leading jewelry, you know, stores <laughs> or jewelry companies um, in the world, <laughs> and um, yeah. So that that is my story. So I got this fixed for. 50 or 65 dollars uh, total so I'm, I'm i'm glad and I, i'm i'm happy that uh it worked out fine and um this has a very big face so um tiffany and company actually uh, produced or made watch i think they lent they lent their you know name to um companies like avon and other you know um yeah other companies uh when they reach a milestone in their career, like probably like anniversary or something, or they issued this to their top uh, sellers or top executives. So um, this is still, um, you know, a Tiffany comp company. So it's a portfolio watch and it just has a scratch there. And uh, the girl in the, you know, the woman at the Tiffany and company told me, oh, there's actually no need to replace the glass because, um, it's okay as it is. But anyway, I also learned that you cannot replace a watch that has a non-sapphire crystal with a sapphire crystal um, <laughs> glass. Because I brought this to another jeweler if they could replace the entire thing with a sapphire crystal. And they said no. Because it, if it was made without a sapphire crystal uh, face, then you can't do that. It has to go back to a regular crystal. But anyway, it just... Um, I think it will only cost me $50 for a new face for that if I want a scratch free. Anyway, the back says uh, 15 years, blah, blah. And it is stainless steel, uh, gold electroplated. And then there's a number 10M, 10 meters. And then Swiss made water resistant. Okay, so, so that is uh, the... So 15 years from for this company. So, yeah, so that is my very, very interesting story about um, the uh, Tiffany and Company. All right, uh, wash that I have. And this is the only wash that I have. I plan to get their uh, portfolio wash, but in the stainless steel. Okay, so there you go. Bye.